Hello gorgeous souls, it's Mary Rose from Psychic Soulmate. This video is a three card tarot reading for what we need to know right here and now. And it doesn't matter when you're watching this because this video is timeless. It is intended for you because you were drawn for some mysterious reason to watch this video. Even if it's 10 years from now, the, vid the video, the message is still intended for you right now. Okay, and if something is quite not resonating, visit back because some things have to unfold in your life for the reading and the message to make sense and to take effect and if it is making sense visit back because you'll notice some things that you quite didn't get um it's kind of like making sense more like i i always visit revisit all my videos because there's always a message that's there for me that actually tells me wow i didn't realize wow okay yeah that's good that's what i'm going through right now like i'm like videos from like five six years ago i'm watching them so it's just well, that's, that's the way it works. Okay, so the cards that I'm working with are the uh, Halloween Tarot. I love this deck. I got this last week and I unboxed it. And um, yeah, I just love Halloween. So that's why I'm just adore, I adore these cards because they're Rider weight format, but they have a Halloween flair and they're not a scary Halloween because it's like, they have like, you know, pumpkins and black cats. And you know how I feel about pumpkins and black cats? That's my Phoebe and my Jasper. I uh, always say Jasper's a pumpkin and uh, Phoebe's the black cat, obviously. So it's like I just love pumpkin um, Halloween season this time of year because it's my favorite. I love the leaves changing. I love the crisp air. I just love the energy and uh, I love Halloween because just before, uh, it's my birthday and me and Anne, we celebrate our birthday. We're twins and you probably saw my sister on some on some videos and you probably thought, she looks a lot like Mary. <laughs> Some of you have messaged me and said somebody's impersonating you. I think that's are you or she look or is it you? And I'm like, no, that is my sister, my twin sister, and we look identical, and I love her. That's Soul Connections. You can follow her, and she's amazing. Okay, and uh, yeah, so I've already dealt the cards and I put them out there, and um, well, I have them in my hands. Um, I, I just have a t-shirt on that I just want you to look at, but please, I, when I say drink up, it says drink up, which is, please, I don't want it to cause any offense to anybody. I, I know I'm very, I'm very sensitive on certain words and everything. Like I, I don't swear. So anything that has a little bit of a swear, I'm always very sensitive towards it. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, some people swear, <laughs> I don't get offended but I would never swear. So it says drink up witches and I don't drink either. So I know I sound like a goody two shoes, but I thought, you know what? I told Dave, let's just make this into kombucha because I'm a kombucha queen addict and I make my own kombucha. Anyways, I'm going to get on with the reading because I can just keep talking and talking and talking. I'm near my fairy tree and I'm all excited. And I just was playing with my kitty cats. And uh, so I'm going to get on with it. Okay. So the first card is the seven of pumpkins and the seven of pumpkins is um, waiting for the seeds to grow, waiting for things to take place. Well, he's a gardener. Now, let me tell you something. This gardener, he's going to grow a beautiful garden. It just takes some time to, for things to uh, flourish, okay? And maybe you're in a certain part of the year where a certain part of the world where it is springtime and you're planting seeds for your garden and um, you know how it is and you got to wait for things to blossom. Wait, or not blossom, but just for the seeds to come out. So gardening time. So this is just what you've been feeling is you've been feeling like it's you've been waiting now I always look at the first card as what we what we're experiencing right now okay and what we're experiencing is just a lot of waiting and um, you know it takes time for things to build it takes time like Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was your project or even relationships you know you might be feeling that someone is just pushing you away or they how much time do you need the most important the most a uh, question that I get asked is time frame. When do you see them coming through? When do you see them opening up? When do you see them calling me? When do you see them popping the question? When? There's no such thing as a time frame. We can predict how long it will take us to get from traffic, like from one end to the city. Well, not actually where I am. It's the traffic is, well, it was anyways. I don't drive any, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> but it used to take me forever because the traffic was awful. And um, so anyways, What's, what's saying that um, waiting, we can predict on other things. We can predict the weather better maybe, but when it comes to love, it takes time. It really does. And also for business, if you're starting a new business and, or you've been in a business and you're, it just seems like things are just slow up. Don't worry. It ha things have to go through the process. Okay. And the second card kind of like 
it kind of it, it goes with this um, with the seven of Pentacles it's a six of Pentacles receiving you need to receive you need to turn the the, the, the dial within yourself you need to change your, your uh, thinking okay you need to change your thinking from I don't have enough to I have enough I you have to change the dial to a receiving when somebody wants to give you a gift or somebody wants to help you, somebody wants to do something for you, somebody wants to do, you you receive, okay? Um, yeah, like I have, I that's one of my things too. I, I When I saw this, I was like, yeah, Six of Pent Pumpkins, which is Six of Pentacles. I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, generosity, accepting, 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 receiving. That's one of the problems I have is receiving. Um, and also deserving, like feeling like you deserve, you deserve to have it, you deserve it, and you are like worthy of that person's love, you are worthy of it. It can go from anywhere, wherever comes into your mind, whatever pops into your mind is the message. Now, um, I can relate to this totally because I have an issue with receiving. My birthday's coming up, it's at the end of the month, it's just before Halloween, like I said, and I have an issue when, you know, like I told Dave, you don't have to buy me anything, hon, just, just make me dinner or, you know, and that's, and I'm happy with that. And he was like, no, I want to get you some, I want to get you gifts, I like really want to. And I was like, okay, but I don't feel like I deserve. I, I mean, I not that I don't deserve, it's like I want to say no, but when you say no to that person and then you don't receive, what you're doing is you're actually pushing um, the, the love back, like pushing it away and the, the energy, okay? And I, I, saw, I heard that and I was like, okay, you know what, just receive, just be queen for the day, like accept it. You know, and that's the problem. Sometimes we don't want to receive. We, and the, the part of to give, like when I give, I love to give because I'm always a giver. I'm always doing and I'm always giving. And I don't give, I don't give enough to myself sometimes. And that's the problem. And I don't receive enough when somebody wants to do something. And that's, I'm not saying I'm better or that's, it's just my thinking. And I'm always working. I'm working on it. I am. I'm always working on it because it's kind of like if you ever seen that movie with um, Drew Barrymore, 51st Dates. <laughs> <laughs> with Adam Sandler remember where she, the next day she was back to where she she had the accident back to you know back and forth anyways you got to watch it. it's a really good movie and um, yeah so like the I forget you forget you forget you're back to that so you got to keep working on yourself to reprogram your mind okay and so that's why I said reprogram your mind to receive reprogram your mind if somebody wants to help you receive it because by receiving it you're giving them something you want to give them something receive it and you take it you know my sister asked me for um, like a wish list on Amazon and I was like oh for my birthday and she said give it to give it to um, my my niece and give it her, her daughter and uh, to her husband Renault and you know just like things that I that I want for my birthday and I, I didn't feel like I wanted to because I was like that feeling again like oh I, I don't feel right asking but you know it's just a, it was just a something that it was just popped up for about a minute that's all for a second and I was like oh okay all right <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying like my point is is to receive is to give give and to receive That's what that's telling you and that's also relating to um, an opportunity to an opportunity for you to make more money So there this is also coming to as well Like there's an opportunity for you to make money and the Sun if you do all of these things and play your cards Right, you will receive the Sun which is things that have been closed delays finally lifting things out things are out to the open and I know that this crazy time that's going on right now in this world um, you know with COVID and everything and things are closing up again I mean we're back to phase two like yeah but I don't care because I don't go to restaurants and I don't you know I, I cook at home and uh, the only thing I do is go to the grocery store <laughs> a couple places that we have gone to but I mean it's just in and out, right? So I'm just saying, like things are closed, so it doesn't really matter. So, but it's just a, it's a, it's a weird time because, you know, it's, it's, it still promotes a lot of fear. But we have to just try to relax and just like, just, you know, like we just want to dress in sweats all day and just, you know, t-shirts and just, you know, like today I was like, oh, I don't, like I've been feeling not today, but I was feeling like, oh, I don't feel like if you've seen some of my videos, I didn't get dressed up. I didn't put no makeup on. And I was like, no, I'm going to get put some makeup on. It's not, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you don't want to wear any makeup. Okay. That's fine. But I'm just saying like, no, it's like the normal me is like, no, I'm dressed. If you've noticed every video, I'm always dressed to the nines and that's the way I am. I just, you know, like when I go out, I'm always like, oh, I got to be dressed a little bit. You know, it's just a, it makes you happy. 
you know, and we got to remind ourselves because when we're here, we're in this, um, this COVID times is what I call it. We, we kind of like shell, put ourselves in a shell and that's fine too, but still vibrate out, be the light, be the light and you can be the sun. So when I say be the light, I mean, just do little things that give you perk, like give you a little perks, do little things for yourself that make you happy, right? Do little things. If you, if you want to have some wine, you want to drink some bubbly and champagne and drink up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. You know, do what makes you happy. Change your furniture room. That's something I like to do a lot. I mean, well, I, I don't because Dave, but Dave will say, why did you change it around? I can't find it. But the kitchen is always like, things are always being changed around. My, my uh, sacred space, I'm always changing it up. I'm always thinking of ways to change it up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm stopping. I'm going to just quit while I'm ahead. That's what I say. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and focus on art stuff and some other stuff. And now I have kitties where I had to take everything off shelves and, you know, like they took my Jesus statue and they knocked it down. And I was like, okay, well, I got to put another, I got to find another spot for Jesus and Mary and uh, find a spot for everything. And I'm going to move my desk around and I'm just going to, and plus I'm doing Zumba. I do Zumba uh, every day, but I also do teach online virtual classes as well well I teach uh, free and anybody can join my, my Zumba class just send me a message and I'll let you know when I do another one and it's just yeah we can do a Skype I do not Skype uh, zoom zoom I'm, I'm gonna do a zoom as doing a zoom class very soon anyways I am just chattering around and um, yeah so the message here is telling you that the waiting is going to be uplifted if you you need, really need to receive self-care self-love is very important give yourself some of that you know I've been saying forever I gotta do my nails you know, not that, I mean, I clean my nails and everything, but I mean, I want to polish them. I want to look, I want, you want to, I want to jazz myself up, not for anybody, but for myself, right? It's just to, I love color and, um, yeah, I just want to paint my nails black and, um, you know, it's that time of year, you know, I usually go with the season. I like to change. I love colors. You know, I got a lot, of, I got lots of Libra in my chart. So I love lots of color and lots of flashy things and pretty things and cute things, but I'm also very down to earth and I'm just a, you know, natural kind of person as well. What you see is what you get. If anybody knows me, I'm here. I'm not being anything I'm not. So I encourage you to follow your heart and just to receive and love yourself. Okay. Give yourself some love, really. Do something for yourself that makes you feel good. Receive, you know, and give yourself that. And if you're feeling guilty about it, well then congratulations because you are thinking of yourself and doing for yourself. And when you do for yourself and you, you make yourself happy, you know what? So much more comes through. And that's what I mean. Like the sun will be shining. The sun is bliss. It's contentment. It's it's a renewal. I know it looks weird, but with this with the skulls and everything, I just noticed that. But that they're all smiling and they're all happy. It's happiness. It's happy, happy. So, you know, find little things that give you spark. Okay. So, um, that was the reading and that was the message. I hope it was helpful. If you're interested in getting a longer reading with me, please visit my website, psychicsoulmatereading.com. And if you would like to learn more about how to read tarot cards, I have a course that will teach you. Um, it'll take you, it takes you from beginner stage to, you know, you can be, um, you know, a tarot reader and you can do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm teaching all my tricks. Well, I shouldn't say tricks, but all my uh, expertise and I'm giving my a mentoring as well. So if you're interested on my website, psychicsoulmatereading.com, you'll find all the information that you need there. And until the next video, everybody, I wish you all peace, blessings, love and light. Till the next time I see you or you see me. <laughs>